morning. Welcome to the Autumn Acorn Knits. My name is Judy. I am a knit and crochet wear designer living in a log cabin in the woods of New Hampshire with my husband and our black cat Meryl. I'm most active on Instagram and you can find me there as the Autumn Acorn and I'm also active here sometimes. It's been three months though since I put out a proper sit down and talk face to face sort of podcast. I did put out some vlogmas videos. I put out three in December, three weeks worth, but one I had to take down due to some technical difficulties. So I do apologize if you were looking for that second week of vlogmas and it was missing. Hopefully someday I can figure out how to fix that and put it back up because it was a good one. So anyway, welcome. I've missed you so much. I've missed podcasting. I just haven't been able to fit in a proper podcast and I do apologize for that but I'm back and let's get into what I've been working on. So in case you didn't know I released a new pattern. It was back in December and it was for the newest Magic Heel Socks. So these are my cabled version in worsted weight. This is one pair that I knit I knit um, another pair that I sent to my youngest daughter and then I'm working on a third pair. But these were knit um, from some lovely knit picks. I'm sorry, Peace Fleece. I always do that. I always confuse the two. But my lovely friend Marie sent this um, Peace Fleece wool. This is a 100% wool to me a while back and I knew that these would be the perfect project because these are cozy house socks with that famous magic heel that makes it so easy to knit because you don't have to worry about it a, a turning a heel and a gusset and a, a heel flap and all that stuff. Um, let's see. I'm going to try them on. This, this doesn't always go well but <laughs> I'm going to try and we'll see how th how that works just so you can get an idea but I'll put some pictures in too but here they are in my foot they're so cozy and so warm I love them so anyway you can get that pattern now wherever I sell patterns which is Etsy and Ravelry and my website so I'll take that off put on my other sock which has a hole, a big hole, and these are some of my favorites. I knit these, oh gosh, when I first started podcasting. So I'll have to repair those. I'm going to try the, um, that weaving mending. Have you seen that? I think that looks like it, it's, it could really well, ah, ah, I think that could really work well. mentioned I'm recording from my studio slash craft room slash loft and I'm on a bed so we decided to put a uh, full-size bed in here and surprisingly you know it it fits it's a small space but it works so now I have a cozy place to sit and a we have a guest bedroom which is really nice I'm happy I did it here's another pair of worsted magic heel socks. Don't laugh when you see these though because these are funny. I started out by using this yarn. Uh, this is a super wash merino in a worsted weight that I dyed with, I believe I used coffee for this. And I thought I'd have enough but then I started to get nervous that I wouldn't. Um, so I decided to add in some peace fleece in this color at the toe and look at how it looks. It looks so silly, but this one has been blocked. Here's the, how it looks from the front. Doesn't that look so silly? However, I think it makes a really cozy toe and I think it'll be sturdy to have this 
So, and I didn't want to run out of yarn. So I'm making the second one now. Here it is. These are really fun cables because I don't know about you, if I'm doing a cable pattern and they have front cables and back cables, I always mix them up. So I'll be, I might do like two front cables, but when I'm supposed to do the two back cables, I might do a front cable, and they always end up wonky. So I've decided that if I just do facing one way, they still look pretty and I don't have to think about it and I never mess up. So that's why I design patterns that are easy for me so that I hope they're easy for you too. But anyway, this was a really fun project and I'm so grateful to my test knitters. I had a ton this time that were interested and they did such beautiful magic heel socks. So I appreciate that so much. Oh, I should have mentioned that these are knit in a US 7 and I'm using um, double points because it's what I prefer. I just love my double points and I know not everyone does. But that's been a really fun project. Just I just keep this one down here and then when I have some extra time, I'll work on that. Okay, next finished object is something I started during Vlogmas. So I started this in sometime in December and it's my very first Granny Stripes blanket. Um, I've done the Hydrangea Stripe. I've done quite a few of those which is similar, but takes a little more thought. This takes less thought, so I really, really went to town on this. And I decided to try to use, used all my minis that were sort of in the lighter family, so not bright, not too deep, mo for the most part. And I still have to weave in all my ends, but I'm gonna give you an idea of how it looks. And this is, just half of it so I'll take the rest down <laughs> it's really hard to show you it's big it's it's quite big um let me try to get it close up to you I think you get the idea it is really cozy and warm and I love it so much that I've all I already have plans to make another one so it's the best way to use up scraps and if you don't know this pattern which I think most everyone does this is uh, from Attic 24 the same designer who designed the hydrangea stripes um, blanket pattern so that is that I'm really happy with it and it only took me I guess about a month because I kept I kept working on it like I couldn't stop. object this cute little headband with a knot in the front and this was simply done um, with a rib stitch so I just kept you, here you could see the seam in the back so I started here and I just kept knitting until I thought it was big enough to make a knot tie the knot kept knitting until I got to the end and then I did a three needle bind off um, to connect the two, two ends. And I like it a lot. It's fun. I mean, let me try it on. I think it looks better to be worn with hair that's up, to be honest, but it's really great for when you need to keep your hair, just keep your hair out of your, you know, out of your eyes. So that's sort of what it looks like. But I normally, like I said, I normally would wear it with my hair up. So it's fun. It's functional. I don't, I just made up the pattern. So, I mean, if you're interested, you could always let me know. 
but I don't plan to release this pattern. I actually got this idea, you know, to knit and then tie the knot and then continue knitting from um, Sigrid of, it used to be called Fre Freya's Fiber. She has, they have, uh, she has a new name, a uh, new branding, so I don't remember what that is right now, but um, so yeah, and that was done. I actually used my good old fashioned straight metal needles in a US 4 and I used this top of the lamb wool which I obviously got for a very good deal sometime in the past by Brown Sheep Company Incorporated 100% natural dye lot 0510 color 100 natural and that was a sport weight yarn I forgot to mention that that is that. Uh, next, I think that might be it. Um, is that it for finished objects? It, it's sort of it for finished objects. I have another one that I'll grab in a minute. Um, it's almost finished, but I ran into some trouble with it, so it's in the naughty corner. But here is some, some of my works in progress. Sorry about that, Meryl. Meryl's here. Do you want to say hi? She's never far. Can you say hi, sweetie? <laughs> anyway, she, she's enjoying that there's a bed up here now. So this next one is a design that I've been working on for a while. Uh, it's just something I pick up and then I put away and then I pick it up, put it away. And here is the main body. So this will be a, oh, it's so wrinkly. Wow. This will be a cardigan. And this is the bottom. This is the, actually the front, you know, it's the front and the back. So it would look like this, obviously, if it was a cardigan. And I'm using, a, oh, and this was a twisted rib, which I really like. It looks so neat, tidy. I'm using one strand of this lovely yarn. This is a 60% superwash merino, 20% alpaca, 20% nylon, four ply sock yarn. And it comes with 437 yards. This was my yarn that I dyed. And I think I used black walnut for this. Uh, and I held it double <clears throat> with some mohair silk. Here's a little bit that I have left and it's just the slightest tinge of coffee color and I held that double to give it this beautiful uh, soft and drapey fabric now what I hope to call this is the sock arm cardigan and I've shown you the sleeves before but I want to show you them again so hold on one second and I'm going to grab them Okay, I'm back. So, let's see here. I have two. <laughs> two sleeves. And here they are. And they are identical, for the most part. Um... And these are knit with, obviously, with sock yarn and also the um, held double with the mohair, which gives it this lovely drape. Can you see that? I love it so much. It's so soft and delicate. And even though i mean it's kind of crazy colors they're still soft enough that i would wear this out um i don't think it's too much and i'm hoping because i want it you know i want the body to be so one solid color and then this just pop of color for the sleeves i think it's going to look really cool and again it's a great way to use up those mini skeins and those advent calendars any scraps you might have. So yeah, 
that's that. And I'm knitting this in a size US 4 needle, which is a flua, which is a 3.5 millimeter. So I don't know when this will be done. I need to, the next step will be to attach the arms and then work um, through the chest area and the neck and all of that and the shoulders and work on that. So it's, this has been a fun one. It's been a slow one, but I love picking it back up again. And I was, when I'm working on these sleeves, I'm using these magic knot balls, which is just a whole bunch of mini skeins um, attached together so that they match, so they're even. I'm keeping the body in this basket and the sleeves in this bag, which was by my friend Amelia from Mila's, Mila Sume, ah, Mila's Sweet Makes. There's her tag. I love this one. It's so cute. It's got lots of ferns and daisies and then this really beautiful canvas on the bottom. She makes such beautiful um, prog uh, project bags. You should check out her Etsy shop if you're in the market for one. I'll show, try to show you more. Here are the sleeves. The sleeves have this lovely lace design, both of them. And that lovely lace design matches the bottom of the cardigan. And I started to work on this button band part of it and this is where I don't know if I'm happy with it I attached this later you know picked up stitches and attached it or no I actually knit it separate and then attached it and I'm just not sure if it's working out if I'm happy with it I don't know it's a raglan this is knit with Nutidin in the color Rajad, which is this gorgeous natural color. Oh, I love it so much. But I'm not thrilled with so far the way that it's turning out. So I just, I had to put it in time out. I just could not, I couldn't deal with it anymore. I love the way it feels though. Oh, this is such gorgeous, gorgeous yarn. So I don't know where this is going. So far I have knit three iterations of this and they're all a little different but I don't think this one's my favorite although I absolutely love this beautiful lace at the bottom I think it gives it such a nice look and it acts as a waist shaping because it kind of pulls it in a bit at the waist you know because there's lace so it's a little um, little tighter Stay tuned, we'll see, we'll see, but I'm just, I'm not feeling it at this point, so, I don't know.
of feeling though. So Joe and I went to Harrisville Designs, which is a mill in Harrisville, New Hampshire, and they had daylights. And this is daylights. They have daylights and they have, is it nightshade? Yeah, here we are. So this one's daylight and this is nightshade. And they're basically the same type of wool, only obviously different colors. And they each come in a variety of shades. So this is called vinyl. It's an American Cormo. And this one is called Over Easy because believe it or not, there's a little, there are little flecks of yellow in here. Too tricky to see right now, but you definitely see them when it's knit up. And there's also little specks of black tweed as well, which I love. This yarn uh, is so gorgeous. It is a woolen spun, which just means that there's more air in it. So it's very, very light as opposed to a worsted spun, which is just a heavier yarn, weightier. So this is very airy and light, which I absolutely love. It's soft, but rustic. It smells really, really sheepy. And I just love the colors that it makes. Now they had a clearance bin. It was like these big, like pickle barrels or wine barrels. I don't know what they are. These like big barrels full of this and they were only nine dollars. Now normally it's 21 or 22. This one was not on sale. That's why it has its wrapper. These were just like seconds and they didn't have any wrapper but we knew what they were because the the bin was marked and they were nine dollars. So I picked up I think five or six. I can't remember exactly thinking oh I need to make a cardigan. Uh, I'm sorry an oversized pullover over this. I was going to do it with some color work. That's why I bought the black, the one black, but I changed my mind. So I'm not sure what I'll be doing with this, but it's lovely nonetheless. So here's what I have so far. I have two sleeves. I did some, I want to say it's like a seed stitch rib. It's a little different than usual. Um, and then of course there's all my increases up the sleeve. And my plan, here's the other one. This one's on waist yarn already. Again with all those <laughs> increases. And my plan is to have these be inside out so that it's like a reverse stockinette but you don't have to purl. So you could just knit it and then this would be the texture, which I love. And I just, the reason I decided that, and it's not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure. The reason I decided that was because I'm doing the body of the pullover in cables. And I think cables just look really well. They look really good with garter stitch. So here is the body, the back, and these are lovely little cables. They think look so pretty in this yarn. And this um, is going to be oversized, like I said, so there will be positive ease, perhaps as much as up to mm, probably seven to eight inches of positive ease. So that'll be nice. I really wanted this to just be able to throw over and go outside where it's cold because it has been so cold here in New Hampshire, like negatives almost every night. And some days it, it only gets up to like negatives numbers or gets down to negative numbers, but it's been brutal and we're just getting through it and we're um, just using like the oil heat, the wood stove, anything we can to stay warm. But anyway, this, I don't have a name for it yet, but I really am enjoying knitting this. It's simple. It's not mindless because it is a four row repeat. So I have to pay attention because, you know, there's no just knit row, but, um, 
but it's really fun. Boy, it looks a lot. The color is similar, isn't it, to the New Tedens Rajad? Only a little lighter, I'd say. I'm just loving these natural colors lately. They just match everything. It's fun to have a pop of color once in a while, but yeah, this soothes my soul. Here is an improper swatch because it's really not big enough, but at least it gave me an idea um, of how that ribbing would look. At first I thought I was going to do the whole thing like this in this stitch, but I decided against it. It's really stretchy. Here's the ball of yarn that I'm working with. And let me see what size I'm using for um, US 8. So that is a five millimeter um, needles that I'm using for this cardigan, a uh, pullover. Am I gonna keep calling it that? You can kind of see the yellow here. Do you see it? The over easy. There's a color in this Daylights that they make called Bloodshot, which is like the same, only the pops of color are this light pink, which I really love. But this is what was on clearance and this is what I got. And I may be adding this button to it because I just think they look good together. I may just go with one button to keep it closed. We'll see. Lots of ideas and I have no idea what I'm going to end up doing in the end because you just kind of figure it out as you go along for some po for some of the projects and some of the projects I know way ahead of time what it's going to end up looking like. bunch of yarn from Hobby. I'll just really quickly go over that. This one is called Unicorn and that's a 7525 uh, merino. 75 merino, 25 polymead in this really pretty color called Giving. And then and they sent me three of those to just to um, to review them. And then they sent me this beautiful Tweed Delight. And the color is red clay, and that's a gorgeous tweed. I think it's a single. Uh, this one was a worsted weight. And I'm thinking about making a oversized pullover for that as well. I think that would look gorgeous. And the last one they sent me was this one called Dream Color. And the color is called Nordic Woods. And it's really pretty. It's a gradient, I think you call it. So it starts out. Oh, well, I have a swatch I could show you. Um, here we go. Yeah, it starts out as one color and then it gradiates into green. Very pretty. Here's the swatch for the red clay. And this is how Unicorn looks when it's swatched up. Um, if you'd like to know a little bit more about how to make a proper gauge swatch, um, check out my other video because I just posted one 
um, that talks all about my collaboration with Hobby. So, yeah. What else? Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about some goals. So, I always pick a word of the year that I try to stick with. And this year, immediately, it didn't take me any thought at all. I knew my word would be less because overall, <laughs> I want less. So I want less stress, which means I probably will have less designs to put out because I realized last fall, a uh, lesson that I learned was I released five patterns at once. And I don't remember if it was September, October or November, but doesn't matter. It was way too much for me. I've never done that. I've always released one at a time. Now I have had it where I've released like four in a month, so one each week, but never five all at the same time. And I learned a lesson. I learned that that wasn't really successful. It's really hard to market five things at once. It's just, it's just too much. So I won't be doing that again. And like I said, I learned a lesson on that. So I hope to release l much more slowly. So perhaps one a month, if that, maybe every two months. But anyway, the word of the year being less relates to, yes, less stress, less stuff. Like I've been cleaning out again. I tend to do this every year around this time, just clearing out stuff. Things that are weighing me down. Joe has been doing the same thing. We're just going through closets. We're going through cupboards, the kitchen, the bedrooms. This craft area had a big overhaul. And then I did, and we're just getting rid of things that we have too many of, things that we don't use anymore, things that are not serving us, bringing us joy. And I went through all my yarn stash, which tended to grow over the holidays and I've already done two pretty big yarn stash uh, just got like I took I just took a whole bunch of yarn I'll show you the next the next yarn stash basket so you can get an idea so this is an example of one yarn stash and I just sold it for like $50. That's it. Like I didn't try to make any money. I lost a ton, but I didn't care. Some of that, some of them are hand dyed by me. Like this one is uh, hand dyed with cooch, cooch. And then others are dyed by nitpicks or I just purchased them. Here's one from Heritage. It's a sock yarn. I have a couple of those in here. So yeah, some of these are dyed by me and some of them are not. Here's one in green. There's two of those. I mean, this, this basket's, you know, it's a lot of yarn. So I need to do the last of the de-stashes. And um, I do those on Instagram. But if anyone's interested, just let me know. It's always first come, first served. It's uh, $50 for the lot and then $20 for shipping. And that almost covers it. Usually I have to chip in a little bit. And then one time I was surprised and it was a little bit less. So it depends. So anyway, word of the year is less. And yeah, I'm hoping that I can stick with that. I absolutely will not be buying any more yarn. Um... And I'm not even sure if I'm going to be doing any more yarn collaborations. I just have enough. I'm looking at it. I have a lot. And everything that I kept are, are skeins that I really adore. I don't want to have anything in my stash that I don't love. Things that I just think, oh, they're okay. and Maybe I'll use them someday. No, I'm done with that. I really want to have less and then I'll feel better. Hi, Meryl. So how have you guys been? Please, please let me know. Um, write in the comments how you're doing. Um, as far as other goals, I still want to continue to grow this channel. 
it's grown really slowly over these last few years. And sometimes that can be a little disheartening. Um, YouTube just doesn't favor my videos or the way that I put them out. So, I mean, if you want to do me a favor, and I know this sounds like begging, hi, sweet girl, but if you get any value at all out of these videos or you, if you enjoy hearing about what we're up to here, please just press the like button. It Just that little bit makes such a difference in whether or not YouTube is going to show my video to people. And if you leave a comment, I would love that as well. I read every single comment and they mean the world to me. So I just thought I would mention that. And if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe, please. Um, I would love it if you could just, you know, when I do put out a video, if, if you could watch. So really appreciate it. I think that's it. I wanna make sure I have my notes here but I'm pretty sure that's everything I wanted to talk to you about today. It's a little bit of a quicker video. Joe went to town to pick up some groceries. So when he gets back, we're going to have lunch together. And then I think I'm going to probably work on that magic heel sock that you saw. Um, but other than that, it's been lovely chatting with you. I hope you're doing well. I hope you are all getting through this weird time. You know, okay, things are starting to get weird again, like we've got our mask mandates are back. But I'm feeling pretty good about it, and I'm going to be headed down to Connecticut uh, early February to watch the girls, just the girls and I because my daughter and her husband are going skiing, so that'll be fun. Um, but hopefully I will catch up with you at some point next month. Take care, everyone. Bye.